through the state house sex and cover up scandal. Now it's all playing out again in court. Ms. Todd Corser and Cindy Gamera face serious criminal charges. We have an investigator, Jim Kirshner, live in our newsroom with the story coming out in court today. Jim? Yeah, all of this led to criminal charges of misconduct for both of those and one additional charge of perjury for Todd Corser. Staffers who worked for both testified how their affair and cover up grew as the months passed. The relationship, the, na the nature of the relationship inside the office, the interactions, the change in demeanor and attitude of Mr. Corser um, it's completely different to what I had known previous to the previous 20 years. Todd Corser and Cindy Gamrat were newcomers to the Michigan House. He came from Lapeer, she came from Plainwell on the other side of the state, but they were on the same side. Right wing, Christian, Tea Party, Republicans who wanted to take Lansing by storm. Their careers went sideways when they had an affair and covered it up. We had had uh, suspicions for quite a few months. Uh, a few days before that, uh, Cindy confirmed the affair to her husband, Joe, who told Keith Allard about it, who told me. One aide secretly recorded himself with Todd Corser when Corser wrote a fake email sent statewide The Corser was caught having sex with a male prostitute in Lansing. The thinking was that would be so over the top, people would not even consider the actual affair credible. I told him that I couldn't be, in, be involved in covering it up and I wouldn't send the email. You're covering what up? his relationship with Representative Gamera. And another staffer said things got so intense, he was concerned about Corser losing it. I feared that there was a likelihood that ex-representative Corser was suicidal. He has been known to do elaborate schemes in the past, and so I feared that for Ben, I said that he didn't want to be left in a room with a body and no explanation for what had happened. This hearing will determine if there's enough evidence to send this to trial. It continues tomorrow up in Lansing. Corser, get this, facing up to 15 years in prison if convicted. Gamrat, up to five years if convicted. Live in the newsroom, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Right, Jim, thank you for the update. New